All right, coming up next, a matchup to determine the baddest man on the planet. The UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest man on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. Absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Well, how about the age discrepancy here? More than 15 years apart with big differences in height and reach. All right, now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. Now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five round for the undisputed UFC heavyweight championship of the world. If you see folks fighting out of the blue corner, this man is a boxer holding a professional record of five wins, two losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 225 pounds. Fighting out of Miami, Florida, presenting the challenger, Kimbo Slaw! And now, if you see the champion fighting out of the right corner, this man is a freestyle fighter. Make his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet two inches tall, weighing in at 116 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Richie Boy. All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. And with that touch of the gloves, we are underway. Ready. You ready to fight? All right, here we go. UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Let's see which man exits as the consensus baddest man on the planet. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Blocks the shot. Good night if that landed. Slice 
gets caught. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. That would land it clean. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Watch the strike. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. And both guys really throwing with authority. Straight punch lands. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Shot attempt to the head here. Instead, it's blocked by Slice. Oh, single collar tie here. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Big ball from Punch Lands. Now he gets back to range. Head kick lands. series of kicks by him there, DC. He has certainly found his range on the feet. I mean, when you don't check, you're gonna continue to get blasted with kicks. His opponent has not deterred him from keeping on throwing those kicks. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. Oh, big left. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Nice head kick. Got clipped to the right hand. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Just misses with that one. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Look at the angle of that nice body. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Can't take many of those, you better check. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Nice punch, man, over the top. Punch is blocked. Just misses with a left hook there. Well, that nose isn't going to be able to take too many more as he doubles up on the jab there. So good to watch MMA fall and watch guys now fight behind the jab. Trying to establish that jab once again. Still nice body kick land. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. That was a nice strike. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Single collar tie now. Lands a glancing right hand upstairs. So many clean jabs. Oh, a huge block there. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Round two next. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. You ready to fight? Ready. 
Big punch land for the back. Oh, big head kick land. Able to check that kick as well. Slice his lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, he slipped well there to avoid the left hand coming back. Lance, got to start racing that guard or this is going to be the end of the You got to start racing the guard and guiding that head kick down back towards your feet. You cannot take him clean and you cannot take him on one arm. Oh, that's a nice strike. And they separate. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Big kick land. Trying to land the elbow there to no avail. Went for the inside leg kick. Nice punch there. Combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. Big punch from the clinch. Separate. Good shot. Oh. 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 He, inside, he's hooked out. He turned his entire body into that uppercut, and it landed exactly as he was hoping for. Let's go. Let's get the take there. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Check the high kick. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Liver kick. What a punch. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. Slice gets touched by that kick to the body. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Well, he continues to stay busy, and he continues to land with volume punches here. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. Oh, here's a kick to the body, blocked though by Slice. Right punches there. Came from inches right there, yeah. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Nice. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. That is a stiff jab. Kimbo Slice's lower jaw is extremely get the head kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick he gets. I like the guy that and now he's got him hurt bad. Now oh, look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Oh, he got him bad! Combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom, and if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and bring down big strikes in your point. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. 
Well, you know he's comfortable fighting off of his back. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, round three coming up next. All right, so a huge round for him there. That head kick probably would have had me out for good. The guy survives to see another round. Yeah, but he'll go back to that. It landed so perfectly. He set it up great. He did a great job of mixing up the target early, going up high, and getting the desired result. Every strike found the target. Then. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Leg kick. Nice combination of kicks there by Slice. Bunches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very accurate. Oh, nice. Try to establish that jab. Blocks that strike. Left hand punch with the clinch. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Splits the guard lands the right hand. Nice head kick. Lands a good series of kicks there, DC. It really didn't take him long to get a good beat on his opponent. He figured the timing, and now he's been driving kick after kick into his opponent. Oh, and a nice jab by him there, and that's gonna give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping him every time. He's gotta be careful. Oh! He was hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. to the body. Now his opponent's really on the ropes. His opponent's on Beach Street. He's hurt so bad. I don't know what he's going to do to stay in this fight. Holding on to him here, not really doing too much, perhaps just looking to recover. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Slice gets caught with that punch. single collar tie here. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Big kick land. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Oh, nice. Nice. Beautiful strike. Going to the body now with the kick. That one is blocked, though, by Slice. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body there. Really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. And he landed the right hand there. Connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Good series of punches by him there. He has certainly had no trouble finding the range tonight. He is finding the target with everything he throws. He's mixing it up beautifully. He blocks the punch. How good is that right hand? Missed with that right hand. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Got the single collar tie. 
Muay Thai from up. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, nice right hand. Nice kick. These guys are going at him. Well, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really has it. Wow! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh! Seconds to go. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, dominant position here. He's got the full mount. A lot of different ways he can go here. Maybe try to find an arm bar or just get the ground and count. He can't attack submission. Stop, stop, stop. But those submissions will present themselves once he is landing that brutal ground and pound he is known for. Because then his opponent will start to get a little bit desperate to get out from under him which will then in turn leave arms dangling or he'll turn to his knees and get choked out. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish, but if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. All right, so next round underway here, and you've got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Strong defense there to block the shot. Visibly limping here. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some sig- Oh! Oh, man! He's affected the straight punches we've seen all the Huge straight punch lands, and he's got to look very bad. Tonight lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Big head kick lands. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Nice job to get the guard up there as the strike is blocked by Slice. And they separate. Back and forth we go. Nice straight punch. Three minutes remain in the round. All right, so the fighters are in the clinch again, DC. I get tired just watching these situations. It's exhausting. This is a position where you are... Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. He's done! He's done! Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah, no pity pat to this guy. This guy's trying to land. He's trying to land effective strike. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. There is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched him. I mean, a competitive fight that one.
one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 50 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout. And new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Kimbo Alright, so we got a new UFC heavyweight champion and potentially a star is born tonight, DC. He is the type of guy that makes people want to tune in. He is the type of guy that you know excitement will happen when you watch him. And tonight he becomes a star in a massive draw for the UFC.